All right, chapter 15, An Elephant in Wayside School. <clears throat> the bell rang for recess and the children exploded out of the building. Louis, the yard teacher, was ready with a big pile of red and green balls. The kids called, hi, Louis, and over here, Louis, as he tossed the balls to them. Over his shoulder, behind his back, through his legs, Dee Dee came charging out of the building. Usually by the time she got to the playground, there were no good balls left, but she could see one red ball by Lewis's foot. She knocked over a kid from the 10th floor and shouted, Hey, Lou! Suddenly she stopped. She had just remembered where she'd heard of Mrs. Drazil. It was from Lewis. He had once told her about the meanest teacher he'd ever had when he was a kid. She hurried over to her friends to make sure. Hey, Todd, she called. Todd was playing tetherball with Ron. As he turned to look at Dee Dee, the ball came around and bonked him on the head. <clears throat> Do you remember when Lewis told us about the meanest teacher he ever had? asked Dee Dee. Todd shook his head. After being conked by the tetherball, he couldn't remember anything. I remember, said Jason, who was in line to play. Whenever Lewis got in trouble, the teacher used to put a waste paper basket on his head. That's right, said Jenny, and then Lewis would have to keep it there the rest of the day, and everyone would laugh at him. And then the teacher would call on him to answer questions from the blackboard, but he couldn't see the questions, so she'd give him an F. Do you remember the teacher's name? asked Dee Dee. Her friends shook their heads. Todd couldn't even remember his own name. <laughs> I think it was Mrs. Drazil, said Dee Dee. They ran to Lewis. Hey, Lewis, said Jason. What was the name of that mean teacher you once had when you were a kid? Which one? asked Lewis. The one that put the trash can on your head, said Jenny. Lewis shuddered, Ooh, just thinking about her. Mrs. Drizzell, he whispered. The kids all looked at each other. What color hair did she have? asked Jason. Brown, said Lewis. Why? We have a substitute teacher, explained Dee Dee. She's really nice. Good, said Lewis. And her name is Mrs. Drizzell, said Dee Dee. Whoa, I'm getting out of here, said Lewis. He started to run, but the kids grabbed him. It's okay, said Jenny. It can't be the same teacher. Our teacher is nice. And her hair isn't brown, said Jason. It's white. Lewis relaxed a little bit. You want to come up and meet her? asked Dee Dee. No way, said Lewis. Oh, you're so silly, Lewis, said Dee Dee. She's not the same teacher, and besides, you're a teacher now, too. Oh, yeah, I forgot, said Lewis. <clears throat> Come on, Lewis, said Dee Dee. She held his hand and led him up the stairs. They entered the classroom. Mrs. Drizil was putting some of the children's work on the bulletin board. Mrs. Drizil, said Dee Dee, we brought our yard teacher up to meet you. It's very nice to meet you, said Mrs. Drizil as she pinned up Joe's arithmetic test. Exercise is so important for young minds and bodies, she turned around. Lewis's face paled. Well, it was nice to meet you, he said very quickly. I gotta go, bye. Stay right where you are, Lewis, ordered Mrs. Drazil. He froze. Mrs. Drazil slowly walked to her desk. She picked up the old blue notebook. The notebook, whispered Lewis. Mrs. Drazil opened it and flipped through the pages. Here we are, she said. She removed a piece of paper and handed it to Lewis. Is this your homework? She asked. Lewis looked at it. You were supposed to copy it over, weren't you? Asked Mrs. Drizzle. Uh, that was 15 years ago, said Lewis. I don't remember. I do, said Mrs. Drizzle. Oh, now I remember, said Lewis. I was going to copy it over, but then my pencil point broke, so I went to sharpen it, but the pencil sharpener fell on my foot, so I had to go to the hospital. I don't want any of your excuses, said Lewis, said Mrs. Drizil. I just want the homework. You may share Dee Dee's desk. Lewis sat next to Dee Dee. And remember, Lewis, said Mrs. Drizil. I know your tricks. Dee Dee watched Lewis struggle with his homework. Sorry, Lewis, she said. Don't be sorry, said Mrs. Drizil. It's for his own good, and I expect neatness. Neatness, Lewis, or else you'll have to do it all over again. He frowned. Mrs. Drizil stood over him and watched him work. Your fingernails are filthy, she said. Uh, I'm the yard teacher, Lewis tried to explain. 
I spend a lot of time outside in the grass and the dirt and stuff. I don't want excuses, said Mrs. Drizzle. I want clean fingernails. And while you're at it, shave off that mustache. It looks like a hairy caterpillar crawling across your face. Not my mustache, said Lewis. Unless you want me to rip it off for you, said Mrs. Drizzle. Dee Dee felt terrible. I can't believe Mrs. Drizzle remembers you after all this time, she said. An elephant never forgets, muttered Lewis. I heard that, said Mrs. Drizzle, and she put the waste paper basket on Lewis's head. Poor Lewis! Do you think Mrs. Drizzle is about to show her true colors? No. Yeah. You think maybe she was faking this whole time with the kids? Do you think maybe she really is mean? Yeah. She was just trying to gain their trust, maybe? I don't know. We're going to have to read on and find out. You want to tell me what the next chapter's called? <laughs> Ta- chapter 16. Say it. Mr. Poop. Mr. Poop! <laughs> chapter 16 is titled Mr. Poop. And we'll read that on Monday. Bye, everybody.